Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my wonderful solution to sleep. Yes, that's right. It has been years since I've gotten a good night's sleep. I took melatonin for a while and that worked for a little while and then it quit working. My normal pattern of sleep since I was back in my 30s is to go to sleep easily about 9.30, 10, 10.30 and then wake up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at 12.30, 1.30, 2.30 and I'm raring to go, ready to get out of bed, but I've only had maybe three or four hours of sleep at max, which is no fun. And today I am truly excited to bring you this video because it's kind of like you're my girlfriends out there and I can hardly wait to tell you my solution because it really works. But first, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll go below the video and click that little bell that will send you emails of my future videos that are all about us over 50. Okay, let's get down to this. Like I mentioned before, I am not at all a good sleeper. In fact, I guess I'm a great awaker because I can wake up like nobody's business. While everybody else in the world is sleeping at two o'clock in the morning, chances are you could find me up reading books, watching TV. I just could not sleep. Well, I tried melatonin for a while and I even did a video about it because it helped me for maybe a month. But this solution is something that is so simple and I really can hardly wait to share it with you because truly it works. For some of you out there, I think this will be a truly almost magical solution for you as it was for me. What I did was I'd always read that all the lights in our rooms, all the small lights from our cell phone or a TV or the little blue lights from electronic devices, little yellow, red lights, that those kind of things keep us up at night. And also if you have windows that aren't totally blacked out, like we have plantation shutters on the bay window by our bed, and so light does come in every night there. I always read that if you have trouble sleeping, you should get rid of all the lights in your room. Well, I really wasn't able to do that so well, so I finally broke down and ordered this. And this is a wonderful little sleep mask. This one happens to be silk. Absolutely love this. It has a little adjustable band, and you basically just put it over your eyes when you go to sleep, and it blocks out all of the light, Plus, it seems to add a nice pressure to your eyelids that just kind of feels good and comforting. And for some reason, this sleep mask really keeps me asleep. I mean, truly, this was like a magical cure for me. My husband truly cannot believe it because for the last month that I've had this, I go to bed at 10 o'clock like I normally do, but then most of the time I'll wake up at like 5.30 or 6. And actually, I want to wake up at 5 o'clock, but it is so comforting to sleep in this mask that I stay in bed longer than I probably should. And this little silk mask is particularly nice because silk is a natural fiber. It's very luxurious, very soft, and it is also cooling, so you don't tend to get hot or sweaty while you're wearing it. And I ordered this online from the My K Silk website. Absolutely love this. In fact, I loved it so much that I emailed the owners of that site and told them how wonderful this had been for sleep. And they offered to send me two silk pillowcases, not to match because my bed linens are ivory, but look at this beautiful silk pillowcase. This is called natural mulberry silk. Very luxurious, very soft. It even has a zipper so your pillow stays completely inside there. Absolutely love this. Not only does it keep my hair in better shape because I don't like to wash my hair every morning, so it really does help keep the style in there. It also, I think, helps combat wrinkles because it is so soft, it doesn't let your face crease the way it normally would. And I highly recommend these luxurious soft pillowcases and also the sleep mask, and I put the links below. And another thing I do that I really wanted to share with you, I've shared this in past videos, but I never think it hurts to state it again because that's probably been about a year ago. I use this sleep wedge pillow and I use it to stay elevated to keep my head up and to stay sleeping on my back and I just put the wedge like this at the top of the bed and then I put my pillow with the silk pillowcase on top and this just keeps me sleeping kind of elevated which really decreases the under eye bags and sags and also since you're sleeping on your back it really does cut down on wrinkles and I want to assure you that even though the My K Silk people sent me those wonderful pillowcases I am not sponsored by them in any way and I'm free to give you my totally honest opinion and I will tell you that if you have sleep troubles and you've never used a sleep mask I almost guarantee this will work for you. I have been amazed by this. And the wonderful thing is I knew of the studies which said that those who get less than six hours of sleep are at risk for terrible health problems. They have an increased risk of diabetes, heart disease, even aggressive forms of cancer. So if you're not sleeping, it's vitally important for you to find a solution. 
and a sleep mask may be just the thing. And if you're not yet a subscriber and you're 50 plus, I hope you'll join the 50 plus family here by subscribing and clicking that little bell. Usually at this time in the video, I read from one of those card decks, but all of a sudden I realized the other day that I never really read scriptures to you and I hope it doesn't offend anyone. And please let me know in the comments if you think it's okay that I do this. But lately, I've really had the conviction that on a day-to-day -day basis, I need to turn my life over more and more to God. And so just for today, I thought I'd read you a scripture. Today, I'm going to read from the book, God's Promises for Every Day. And I'm just going to flip through the book and see if I can come upon a good scripture. Okay, here's one. Because of his love, God had already decided to make us his own children through Jesus Christ. That was what he wanted and what pleased him, and it brings praise to God because of his wonderful grace. God gave that grace to us freely in Christ, the one he loves. In Christ we are set free by the blood of his death, and so we are forgiven of sins. How rich is God's grace? That's Ephesians 1, chapters 5 through 7, and what I really love about that is the first sentence, because of his love, God had already decided to make us his own children through Jesus Christ. And you know, when I'm feeling less than and feeling not so good about myself inside, I try to turn it over to God and say, God, remind me that I'm your child and show me how much you love me. And I try to think about how much I love my own children and how even when they make mistakes, I love them more than ever. I just want to help them and I don't want to see them hurt. And that's exactly what God wants for me and for you. And so just for today, when we start to feel down on ourselves, let's turn it over to God and ask him to help us see ourselves through God's eyes. Because when we do that, we know we're truly loved and very special. Take care. See you next time.